I was born and grew up in the Sahrawi refugee camps in southwest Algeria. And I grew up close to my father, who is also an artist, and encouraged me to play with colors and uh, making things with my hand. And uh, when I finished school in Algeria, I went back to the refugee camps to help support my family and my community with my art and education. And um, I established Motif Art Studio, a small um, art studio in the refugee camps, first to have a proper space for me where I can create and experiment, but also to invite other local artists and international artists and it has been really an interesting journey. I have been working with different art media. I've been working with photography, with film, with art installation. I also write. When I established Motif Art Studio, I didn't have any funding. So I, I resorted to discarded materials to build the actual studio itself. And that inspired me to create different art based on the local materials because it's accessible. It's also great material to raise awareness about different issues, including environmental issues um, that are affecting our lives, not just globally, but also locally. Climate change is impacting different geographies and different communities on different levels because of the different complicated issues involved. In our community, for example, we have been experiencing unprecedented increase in, in heat levels and also sporadic unexpected sandstorms. Of course, these are common desert elements, but when they intensify, then they impact um, our community very badly. And people don't know what to do. This sense of despair and powerlessness and it's very overwhelming but these kind of initiatives that I have been speaking about the family gardens and planting trees is some of the solutions that we think have the potential to bring some change because as gardens spread in the camps they provide food for the local community but they also change the microclimate around the families and the families do experience that and do speak about it they say it's beautiful and cool to be in the garden because there is moisture and because there is shade. My inspiration starts from the very surrounding circle around me. It starts with my parents, with my family, with the people around me, and then it grows with the surrounding environment um, around me. How my people have stood all of these adversities, how they were able to grow food in the middle of the desert with all the heat, with all the sandstorm and challenges and little water in refugee camps. If I don't get inspired with this, I don't know where, where, where the inspiration comes from. So I start with the everyday realities around me and build up on that. I generally let the creative process unfold, but the creative process unfolds in many subjects and that's the beauty of it. If I see the general parameters, you know, governing or shaping my direction, I see, for example, themes around layers of decolonization, so decolonizing different aspects of, of our lives. For example, I'm really interested in bringing up elements and aspects of life in the desert. I think the desert as an entity is a largely misunderstood, overlooked um, element, and it plays such a vital role in, in, in the general uh, global ecosystem. There is life in the desert and there are communities, there is culture, there are stories. And so we are the desert people. And if it's getting too hot for us, good luck the rest of the world. Mm -hmm.